What's up guys and gals, it's the Tyrant here and welcome back to Exploring Halo and today I'm going to fulfill another one of your requests. We're going to find out if we can get to the hangar where Halo 2 drops off the antimatter charge or where he tracks it to to actually get the Covenant ship. So we're going to find that out today. I'm going to be using the same mod that I have been using all week and that's the Blue Trainer. And essentially with that we're going to use that to walk through walls and see if we can get down to the bottom of Cairo Station. Now, I had to be a little bit tricky when doing this, so what happens is, in order to actually walk through walls, the catch is that you just walk straight. You can't actually look in a direction and walk in that direction. You're just going to keep going straight ahead on the current plane that you're on. And to do this, you have to hold down the Alt key. At least that's the way it's programmed by default in the Blue Trainer. So in doing this, if I simply just remove my finger from the Alt key, uh, Master Chief will drop down, but he'll die, and we don't want that to happen. So what I did to pull this off, you can see where the bay doors are uh, below Cairo Station. And so I sort of just... Uh, bit by bit very carefully would just take my finger off alt and then catch myself after about a second so this allows me to actually get lower uh without actually killing myself so we're going to keep going forward and we're going to get closer to the bay doors and as we do we can finally utilize uh the mod here to or the trainer i should say to simply just walk right through now these are the bay doors that you see at the uh, end of the mission. So the, the hangar bay is right beyond them, or should be. But when we walk through the wall, surprisingly, there's nothing there. It just goes right through. Now, this surprised me a little bit. I thought at least the room would be there, but I'm guessing that it just simply hasn't loaded yet, since it's not actually a part of the mission itself, but rather just one of the cutscenes. So I was a little disappointed to see that there was nothing there. So to sort of make up for it, I figured, you know what? Let's add something to this video and go ahead and see if we can get to the bottom of Cairo Station. We got to the top last week. We got to the top of the Mac gun. So let's see if we can actually get to the bottom of it. Is it a solid object or is there just nothing down there? Is it just decoration? Let's check it out. So again, using the same type of method, I went ahead and just dropped down real slow. And this did take a while because Cairo Station in general is absolutely huge. And so finally, I got down to the bottom just far enough that I could just simply see if I could land on the bottom itself. And sure enough, it's still a solid object, which is great because Bungie didn't have to do this. It could have just been a decoration and it would have saved them a lot of trouble. But no, it's a solid object. It's there. There. And going inside, there's nothing actually inside the bottom of Cairo Station. It's just, you know, empty space, but it's still a solid object, which is pretty cool. So what did you guys think of this? What did you expect to find beyond the hangar bay doors? Did you expect the room to be there? Or were you not surprised to see that it hadn't actually loaded yet? I'd love to hear your thoughts, comments, and theories in the comment section below. Or please feel free to hit me up on Twitter at Mythic Tyrant. A link to my Twitter feed can be found in the description below. And I want to take a moment to thank each and every one of you for taking the time out of your busy day to sit down and watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope you consider subscribing for more great content right here on MythicTower.com. Thank you guys and gals so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I'll catch you all right back here next time. And as always, I'm the Tyrant, signing off.